Hey, what's up everybody? This is Ola with Mobile Wiz Tech and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about the Movo WMX1 wireless lavenier microphone system. And I'll be jumping right in right after this. Now, before I get started, if you end up liking my content or find it useful, please do me a favor and go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Also, if you want to continuously receive content like this, make sure you hit the subscribe and the notification bell button. That way you can always stay informed whenever I post new content on my channel. All right, now let's talk about the Movo WMX-1-TX wireless lavalier microphone system all right now what's nice about this system it's wireless but besides that it's an omnidirectional lavalier microphone and it can broadcast audio up to 200 feet away and using a 2.4 frequency so in other words it gives you that freedom to move around freely let's say you're using this system with your mobile device right you have your mobile device in one area and you want to move around freely without worrying about a cable that's going to shorten up your distance from your mobile device. You don't have to worry about that with this. You can move around freely and do what you have to do. And it gives you that flexibility. So again, nice perk with this system. Now, how does the audio quality sound? Is it condensed? Not sure. I'm going to put that to the test. I'm going to compare this microphone system to the internal microphone and my Note 20 Ultra and see which one sounds better. All right. So now let's have a look at the box. All right. As you can see here, 2.4 gigahertz wireless microphone system for Android and other type C devices. All right. Have a look there. Side view. And you have this information here. Two year warranty. Pretty cool. All right. So let's zip this open real quick. Okay. So this is the microphone itself right here. Get this open. There you go there. Better view of it right here. All right. And the windscreen here. So you're going to put this over the microphone to help with the sound quality and eliminate some background interference noise. All right. Here's the clip that we use to clip to your shirt and the microphone just go through there. So simple. Um, in the manual, they call this the activation pin. All right, so this is the receiver. As you can see, type C earphone jack. Get a better focus on this here. All right. And you can see here at the bottom, you can increase the volume or decrease it. And you have, let me turn on this side here. All right. And you have a pair mode, so I think that's where the pin goes. You stick the pin in here to pair it once everything is connected and hooked up. All right. And here's the monotone and stereo switch. Last but not least is the transmitter. All right. Got the little clip here. See on the side, you got the power on and off. Pair button. And let's see what else. I think that's about it. Does this swivel? It swivels as well, as you can see. And then here's your line in and mic jacks right here. All right. And then your battery door. 
right? Let's see. Slide that open. And it uses two AAA batteries, as you can see there. All right. Now let's have a quick look at the case. All right. You got your different dividers there. And it has a zip that you could put items in as well. So it's really nice. And it's hard as well, so nice material. All right, so your system should be protected while in this case. Now I did want to point this out. I won't go through the whole manual because it's straightforward and these should be paired to each other right out the box. But if for some reason it's not, these instructions will walk you through on how to get them paired. All right, very simple. So you just follow these instructions here and you should be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all set up and connected. And once that's done, I'll be right back. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do now is power this on. And as you can see, there's a constant blue LED light uh, from the camera. It looks white, but it's actually blue. All right. Then I'm going to take this and make sure that the receiver when you plug it into your phone is facing up because you can see there, there is a LED that's here. And once this is solid, you know that the connection or the pair has taken place. All right, just plug this right in here. And as you can see there, external mic will be in use for recording. And it is solid as you can see, as I mentioned earlier, and this is no longer blinking fast or should I say flashing fast as that slow pulse flash. That means the connection is there. But what I'm going to do first is actually do a recording, a sample recording using the internal microphone of the Note 20 Ultra. Then I will see how the audio compares while using this after doing a recording. So I'm going to start off by doing a sample recording here and then do one here, and then play it for you all so you can hear the difference. All right, so here we go. No 20 Ultra. This is me testing the audio quality using the Note 20 Ultra internal microphone. Okay, now this is the WMX1. This is me testing the audio quality of the Movo WMX1 audio. Now, which one had the better audio quality? Well, the Note 20 Ultra was definitely louder but my voice did not sound condensed. Whereas the WMX1, my voice sounded more condensed and crisp. So I believe that the WMX1 will be perfect for YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, or any of those other platforms that allows you to do video recordings. Now what I want to do is step away, not up to 200 feet, but a good distance away from the receiver to see how my audio sounds there. So let's see if the audio depreciates or if it sounds the same or what have you. All right, so be right back. All right, so let's see how it sounds. Now the first recording, I stepped away from the receiver, all right? And I had this switched over to M. Right now it's on S, but it was on M with the first recording, all right? And I stepped away maybe about 40 feet to see how it would sound, all right? So let's check it out. This is me recording my voice audio quality, stepping further away from the Movo WMX1 receiver. All right, so that's how my voice sound. That far away from the Receiver again, that will switch to M. Now let's see how it sound when it was switched to S. This is me recording my voice audio quality. See how it sounds when I step away from the WMX1 receiver and have to switch to S. Now let's listen to the Note 20 Ultra one more time and then I'm going to play one of the recordings when I stepped away. All right. This is me testing the audio quality using the Note 20 Ultra internal microphone.
All right, so now I'm going to play the audio when I walked away from the receiver. This is me recording my voice audio quality, stepping further away from the Movo WMX1 receiver. So there you have it. Again, the Note 20 Ultra was definitely louder, all right? No doubt there. But when it comes to being condensed, it was not nearly as condensed as the WMX1. And again, I did that from 40 feet away, all right? And I still had that nice condensed audio. So I will leave it up to you. This is my opinion, all right? Which one do you think sound better? Please post your comments in the comment section below. There will definitely be a link in the description section of this video. And this completes my review of the Movo WX1 Lavenier wireless microphone system. Make sure you head to the bio section of my profile and hit that YouTube channel link. Also remember to keep it mobile. I thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please show your support by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. Also, share it out and comment below. Until next time, keep it mobile.